This is Josh Shipp. Is the internet really dangerous? I mean, aren't your parents and teachers just overreacting to the dangers that lurk on the interwebs? Did you know the internet is a series of tubes? The internet is not something that you just dump something on. It's not a big truck. It's, it's a series of tubes. Truthfully, uh, these adult folks in your life have a point. Online threats are real, and that's why today I'm going to show you how to be safe online. Think of me as your online bodyguard with really puny biceps. Don't judge me. All right, look, there are three main threats for teens online. So let's deal with the uh, biggest threat first, shall we? The biggest threat to you online, do you know what it is? It's uh, you. You are your biggest threat. Uh, actually, let me be more clear about that. Uh, the biggest online threat to you is you posting or uploading something stupid. The internet is like a, it's like a spider web. I mean, why do you think you call, they call it the World Wide Web? It catches everything, and once it's online, it can be there for years. So that picture of you kissing your dog, there forever. That Facebook update about how much you enjoy the music of Miley Cyrus, sir, there forever. Butterflies fly away, not in my head like a yeah. Moving my head. <clears throat> So look, uh, being smart about what you say and do online is frankly more than just a good idea. A teenage Burger King employee from Cleveland took a picture of him with his feet in the bin of lettuce they use for burgers. First of all, that's freaking disgusting. He posted it online, you know, thinking anonymously, right? Safe. Nope, wrong. Burger King found out about it, traced the photo back to this dude's phone. Not only was he fired, but BK Corporate fired the entire crew he worked with. Every single one of them. I bet that guy's pretty popular now. Now, I know you're sitting there thinking, thinking, Josh, I mean, I don't even work at Burger King. And secondly, I would never, ever put my feet in a bin of lettuce. That is disgusting and bad for the environment. All right, fair enough. But think about this for a second. How much drama is started when people, like, say and post idiotic stuff online that they would never, ever in a million years say to your face? You know? And how many times have you seen your friends say or post something online that they now regret? Exactly. So to help you protect yourself against yourself, here's a general rule of thumb that might help you. Before you post or upload something, ask yourself this. Would I be cool with my grandma seeing this? You know, would you be cool with your grandma seeing you threaten to beat up that kid you don't like? Would you be cool with your grandma seeing you request the answers for Mrs. Fox's Spanish file? Would you be cool with your grandma seeing you upload that picture of you in front of the bathroom mirror only wearing a sports bra? Hmm? Honey, put some dang clothes on, good lord! That's my um, <clears throat> grandma impersonation. Sorry. So here's a rule. If it passes the grandma filter of approval, then you're good to go. If it doesn't, you probably want to reconsider it. The second thing you need to protect yourself against online are online predators. I mean, the word predator even, like, sounds... <laughs> you know, it's just... Mm. So if you're chatting online with someone, you need to make sure that you for sure, like 100%, know who they are. And never ever give out personal information. If you're going to buy something online, make sure it's a legit site. Right? Here's a little saying I've made up for you uh, to help you remember this. Let me see if I can remember it. Uh, if it looks scammy, protect your family. That's, uh, if it looks legit, it's probably full of... <laughs> I can't say that. Uh, if, um, if you give out the wrong information, it's like a kick to the cojones. That's racist. All right, here it is, for real. Avoid the temptation to give information. You better tweet that right now because there are weirdos and stalkers and crazy people out there that you need to protect yourself from and your friends from. Please do not share your personal information with anyone unless you know for sure they are safe or a legitimate business or organization. Don't take candy from strangers, avoid windowless vans, and remember, only you can prevent forest fires. Only you can prevent forest fires. Now, the last thread is not very popular to talk about, but the fact is, is that it's true, so I'm going to talk to you about it. Did you know this is crazy that 12% of internet websites are pornographic in nature? 12%, I mean, that is messed up. And you need to protect yourself from this stuff. It causes serious psychological and relational harm. The uh, Kaiser Family Foundation did a survey of 1,200 teens, and 70% of them said that they had accidentally stumbled onto porn online. 
And in a recent survey of college freshmen, 82% they had been exposed to porn uh, by the time they were just 14 years old. So the point is, an unlocked computer is like a loaded gun sitting in your bedroom. You need to protect yourself or eventually you will get shot. It's inevitable. You know, get some filtering software on your computer to protect yourself. I use something called SafeEyes. There's also something out there called Content Barrier and other programs out there that work for both Mac and PC. Now I know what you're thinking, oh, you know, this you know, filtering software costs money. Look, it costs like 50 bucks a year, and here's how, you, here's how you make this happen. Go to your parents and tell them, dearest mother and father, the World Wide Web is filled with vile stuff like pornography. This filtering software protects me, a young child, innocent in nature, from all of this horrible stuff. Could you buy it for me so I may live a virtuous life and be an upstanding citizen of the interwebs? If your parents say no to that, your parents are crazy, all right? So there you have it. Three straightforward boundaries that you can enact in your life to save yourself a lot of heartache and awkward questions in a future job interview. Now, I have a question for you. I'm thinking about uh, making a series of videos for living an awesome life. What is the number one thing that you would like to learn about? Leave your answer in the comments below. Por favor. That means uh, please in Spanish. I'm bilingual. Did you know the internet is a series of tubes?